Welcome back to Teleport HQ. Today we're going to show you how to import code from ChatGPT to Teleport HQ. Now you to create anything you want with ChatGPT, bring it to Teleport HQ, and use the visual editor to fine-tune. We'll start by pre-configuring ChatGPT so that it's compatible with our HTML and CSS import functionality. We'll leave the setup for you to use in the description below. With that said, let's generate a dashboard layout. It should contain a sidebar, header, content, and a side section for widgets and a footer. For the sake of saving time, we'll speed up through while the code is being generated. Once that's done, we just need to copy it, go back to Teleport HQ, open the code import widget, paste it and click save. The dashboard is exactly what we wanted, but it just needs a few tweaks so that it's perfect. We'll give the main container a 100% width and stretch it to full height. We'll set the footer's margin to auto so that it's on the bottom and make sure the text is centered and we'll make the content full height. As you can see, it's already perfectly responsive without any tweaks to the media queries. And with those small edits, the dashboard is exactly how we expected it to be. Now let's go into a more practical use case. With the settings already made with the previous experiment, we only need to ask ChatGPT exactly what we want. In this case, we'll ask it to create a landing page for a bakery business. We'll take this one section at a time. So we'll just request the hero section with a few animated objects for now. Immediately after the code is generated, we can just copy it and paste it into the project. This is perfect. We have the shapes and the script for the animations which will work in preview mode. Let's move on with the landing page. We're gonna ask ChatGPT for a services section. To make the prompt more specific, we'll ask for six cards that have a cool hover effect and are also animated when they come into view. Just like before, we'll copy the text from ChatGPT and add it to the project. A script was generated this time as well, and it looks like we'll have to make a small tweak. We don't want the animations on the card from the script to be triggered by the DOM content loaded function, so we'll remove that part of the script. Let's click save and see what we have. The cards themselves are not shown by default. So first we'll look for the opacity property on the cards so that we can see how they look. The cards look pretty basic, so we'll go ahead and use the editor to make some changes. First, we'll add an image to the layout. Next, we'll make the container display flex from the inner layout section and then center everything. Next, using the shift key together with the control or command C and V keys, we'll copy the new layout changes to the other cards. The cards are nice and responsive, just as expected. Let's continue with the testimonial section. We'll ask ChatGPT to create this section with an animated slider that contains three testimonial slides. While ChatGPT generates the code, we can do other things. For example, we'll go to the editor and rename some of the layers so that the project is more organized. Now we also have the testimonial section. Let's copy the code, paste it to the project, and make the edit to the script like before. The slides seem to have been imported correctly, but now we just have to make a few tweaks so that we can see the slides. We'll make the testimonial container display as a block, and we'll give it an opacity of one so that it is visible. Looks good, let's continue. Now that we have a testimonial section, we'll also request a contact section. This time the prompt was left a bit more vague. Hopefully a contact form will be generated. Let's see what the AI suggests. The code looks good, and there's no script this time. The contact form looks more or less as expected, but it needs a few edits. We'll make the text area field occupy 100% of the form's width and change its border color so it matches the other fields. Good. Let's do a responsiveness check as well. And yeah, as expected, it looks good at every screen size. Awesome. Next, we'll create a header section for our landing page. To make this look as professional as possible, we'll ask ChatGPT to add the mobile menu inside of the header section as well. Waiting for the code to be generated. And as expected, we get a script for the mobile menu as well, which we'll adjust. 
Whenever we paste new code to the root of the page, it will be added at the bottom. We'll just minimize everything, rename the header, and then drag it to the top of the page. We're really close to being finished. All we need now is to ask ChatGPT for a footer section. One last time with the procedure we're already so familiar with. And there we go. We have a complete landing page. Moreover, now that we're done adding each section, we don't even need to go through every media query to make sure it's responsive. ChatGPT already took care of it. It's time for the big reveal. Through the magic of video editing, we also added some real images to the page. Let's see how it looks once it's published. Yep, perfect. The shapes in the hero section are animated just as we wanted. The cards have a cool hover effect. The testimonial slider works as expected, and the form is ready to be set up. That's how easy it was to build a page using code from ChatGPT. But the possibilities are endless. We can't wait to see what amazing projects you create using this functionality. Till next time, see you all in Teleport HQ.